All right, we're back into the hordeless. Ooh, and hordeless. Fuck, I was going to say horseless, but my fucking spirit said hordeless. We ain't hoarding shit no more. Connected to everything, attached to nothing. So what have you been hoarding? But it's talking about you ain't hoarding shit no more. You're opening up. You're opening up to new things. What the fuck is this? What the fuck was that? I'm fucking mosquito. And I see now that you're not hoarding things. Or maybe someone was trying to fucking hoard you. Someone was trying to keep you all to themselves. But yeah, we back to the horseless. Oh shit, now horseless. The fuck? I mean, did I say horseless when I was saying hordeless? Horseless. Okay, so they're no longer able to fucking hold on to you, keep you to themselves, and they, they ain't got no motherfucking ride. And they ain't got no motherfucking ride. They can't even get to you. Spirit took that motherfucking horse away. They could be experiencing car trouble. Not that we want that shit, of course, but I'm seeing this as an energetic horse. They were trying to fucking trample in and come towards you. Oh, shit. Remember that blue horse? Hold up. Remember this motherfucking blue horse. I just talked about this last night. If you're not following me um, on my Instagram, that information is found in the description box. And keep up, boo, because this is going somewhere. So this is talking about loyalty, companionship. So this could have been a companion of yours, a friend, someone who you thought was loyal. And they were actually trying to fucking keep you all to themselves. Pretty sick. So that's what that's the energies right here. The the headless horsemen. Okay. Because there's some trickery, some sick things going on. People trying to clone one another. Yeah, so we're having to conceal our plans. Even conceal our fucking face. What we're doing with our hair. All that kind of things, you know. But just know. You got that motherfucking recipe. And the way you stir that shit up. They can't do it like you. So keep the motherfucking sauce. Because we got that recipe. Yeah, you ever go to a restaurant and... And the food tastes so good one day. And then you go like a week later and it tastes totally different. That's because it was the energy that that specific chef had put into it. When we'd go to a restaurant, sometimes my mom, when we were younger, she would call ahead to make sure a certain chef was working. Because like, that's how it's going to be. Whoever trying to clone you, somebody's going to be calling in like, um... This shit don't taste the same. This shit don't feel the same. Fuck. Who's a chef? Who's a chef in charge? Oh, he ain't in today? Okay, we ain't coming by then. Because this shit don't taste the same. Okay, so don't worry about that shit. But keep yourself protected. Just because... Just because we got that fire... Don't mean... We don't keep ourselves protected. Okay? Make sure you're staying out in nature, you're charging up, you're calling upon nature for help. You know, as you would call 911 or put a TRO on a motherfucker. When you phone a friend, make sure you're calling upon them. Make sure you know who you're calling upon too. Tap in. Tap into nature and they'll show you. You don't. You ain't even gotta know, just connect with nature. You ain't got to call a motherfucker name or anything. I don't know who to pray to. Go to nature. Surrender to Mama Earth. I promise you. They've been showing me over and over again how protected we are. But the only way they can protect us if we fucking listen. We got to listen. That's the only way. I tell my children this all the time. All the time. I'm here to protect you. But you got to listen. And sometimes they choose not to because sometimes we got to learn the hard way. And I feel you already learned the hard way and now you're trusting and you're listening to every single little call. Even if it's you getting ready to go somewhere and, and your higher self, a part of you, your instincts, your intuition said, oh shit, maybe not. Maybe not. And don't feel guilty for that. Like, ah, oh, fuck, I should have gone. No, there was something in me that said I shouldn't have. 
So mahalo to my higher self for fucking keeping me safe. Let's connect to our breath so we can continue to call upon them. Acknowledging the divines within. Acknowledging the divines that surrounds us. Picturing a light going down our spine as we feel our cores, letting our cores rise. Not our chest. We're going to release with the buzz of the bees, the hiss of the snake, and the buzz of the dragonfly. To anchor in these energies so we can stand firm. So we can be clear on the grounds which we stand upon. So we can value our foundational essence, spirit, balance, expectations. Awakening the dormant spaces in the mind, allowing the blood to flow into spaces they haven't been for a very long time. When you harness these vibrations, it allows you to tap into a healing frequency. It allows you to hear the calls. It allows you to be. It allows you to trust in whatever emotions that you're in right now. It allows you to move through them so it can move you into the space where you need to be at. You know, I'm hearing, make sure you're hearing the, the cries. And not being ashamed of fucking crying either. Mama Lahoy speaks about transformation. Breaking wide open, ready to spread your wings. Reaching higher states of consciousness. I'm going to briefly read it from the book. The chant for this card is A'e Mamala Ho'i. Oh, excuse me. I'm looking at this word. Malama Ho'i. Ke Kanaka Nui. Ameke Kanaka Iki. Respect alike the great and humble. Respect alike the rights of the great and humble. Hmm. I'm thinking if I should read the whole story, but I won't. Mm. Self-confidence. Hold on. Now. The splintered paddle. No, 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 no. I'm going to go see trust that first instinct self-confidence comes from knowing that you are always lovable and worthy of being treated with respect even though you may make mistakes it comes from acknowledging that you are always doing your best given your present situation and circumstances confidence may also be strengthened by allowing yourself and others to explore alternatives through trusting that we all have the ability to make choices and learn from them. People with strong self-confidence do not need to prove themselves or justify their behaviors. People with strong self-confidence accept responsibilities for themselves and their actions. Compassion for yourself and others allows you to learn from experience and continue your journey with your self-esteem safely at the helm. You're safe, you're protected. So I did hear the vibes, living and learning that, living and learning vibes, huh? Sometimes you gotta go through the hard way, but like I said, this vibe, look at that supreme energy. This vibe we're on, 
And if you're here, then it's most likely that you're, you're vibrating on that frequency or that's the frequency that you're trying to get to. So... We already learned. We already went through this shit. So now it's time to apply what the fuck you learned. It's time to listen. Okay. It's serious business right now, okay? Serious business right now. You gotta know. You gotta trust. You gotta feel. The scales, man. The serious business right now. Feel like somebody may have been pushed to the side. But we're still in the vibes. Trust it, bro. Trust it. It was giving you an opportunity to love the shit out of yourself. Okay? Self-love. But look at that. Two of cups come quick because I said we learned. We learned the shit. So now we listen, look, she's open. Her eyes are closed and she's just listening. She's tuning in, feeling. Mm. Feeling, it's a feeling. Of course, we know that, we know that, but it's, it's more, there's more to it. There's more, the world. There's more. <laughs> so there's more than this. There's more than just sadness. There's more than just heartbreak. Yeah? There's more on the other side. There's always more. There's always been plenty. Look at that. There's always been plenty. You just have to see that within you first. Because if you don't see it within you, how the hell are you going to notice that outside of yourself we can say we do but do we but do we you done no you know i dip i dip in and i dip out of who i am because because of fear A fucking fear. Why do I fear being my complete whole self? It just always seemed like it was too much, but it was fucking just enough. Being completely yourself is the exact tools you need to get to where the fuck you want to go. I can't imagine how much missed opportunities I had from watering my motherfucking self down. But trusting as well, because maybe I had to be watered down. Maybe I had to be. Because when you water all these motherfucking seeds, you know, you're so full of light and you have to be watered down a little bit in order for these fucking seeds to grow. This is a big inheritance coming in. The rulers. 
Earth's rightful rulers. I don't know who felt that that dip, dip in and dip out. <laughs> Look at that. She looked like she ruled them. Earth's rightful rulers. You get there by standing your ground. By hearing the fucking calls. By remaining pure and innocent when you stand your ground. Standing for righteous reasons. Dragonfly. Recently, we've been having dragonflies come on the daily and they're attached to each other. Oh my gosh, I didn't even look down at what card flew. And they're attached to each other. So look, we have the two of cups. Oh my gosh, and the ten of pentacles. It's like the two of you are attached to each other. Your person, who you're calling out to, who's coming in. And look at that. Six of Cups. This partnership, this relationship, this new cycle that you're stepping into is destined. It was always meant to happen. And that's why these darker entities are trying to come in and stop it. Creating chaos, creating obstacle after obstacle. Butterfly just flew past so quick. So you have to be quick, be swift. That's that dip in and dip out. Because your happiness... It's going to be so fucking amazing. <sighs> and these motherfuckers want to try and stop the shit from happening. <sighs> but they won't. But I want you to feel that fire. I want you to feel that passion. So you can listen. You can listen. Six of Cups remembering, reminiscing. I'm seeing somebody is manifesting their way towards you. And it's like this love was at a distance. You had to be separated in these times because there was too much shit going on. It could have ruined it. And now both of you can come back together and come back fully aligned. Come back transformed. But that energy is that energy is a lingers. The energy lingers. But the divines are restricting anyone from coming towards you. Someone's around you really possessive and controlling. They're stuck in their head. They're really regretful. But if they would just stop focusing on you and pick themselves up, rather than wait for you to pick them up, they would find their two of cups because it's right behind them as well. That's what I'm praying for, for all the ones who try Fikanka. I hope you find love. I hope you find stability and security and peace and balance. I hope you're able to make wise investments so you can get off my motherfucking ass. 
A lot of pentacles, though, coming through. It's a wise investor. Your riches is still coming. Fit. I'm seeing someone really fit. Not just physically fit, but spiritually fit. Well equipped. And maybe you don't. Mm. I was just going to say that. And maybe you don't have those things externally. Maybe your household isn't stable. Maybe things are a little fucked up at home. <laughs> but you feel that shit within. Look at that shit. You feel that growth within your crown chakra fully activated. So you see things from a different perspective. Even tower moments. You're like, oh shit, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Look at that. Because you're just in your power. And that's what's fucked up too. Is you're just in your own motherfucking zone. And people still be trying. For what? Because your abundance is coming through. Look at this. You're still remaining in balance. You're still remaining in having self-control. You're still remaining in patience and gratitude. And I'm also seeing someone trying to test the waters with someone from their past, trying to feel someone out. What's coming with that? Because there's big shit coming in. So they're trying to come in and offer the queen bee something, some sort of idea, some sort of offering. But they're still holding back. But but they're still holding back. It's like strings attached. What they're offering comes with strings attached. So be mindful of that because there will be tricks. There will be tricks. Look, and you'll know. You'll know. And look, that's also you feeling it out. Let me feel it out. Because we don't just got to cut motherfuckers off. Let's feel it out. Let me tap in. And also, look, you're like, I got that three of pentacles. I got mine. I got mine from the divines. I didn't trade, I didn't sell my fucking soul to the devil. And you know me, I fucks with the underworld. I'm talking about dark entities. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Victory. You're going to stand alone. You're going to stand firm. I don't see you taking people back from the past. And and this people that created the obstacles and chaos, it actually allowed... It's like they, they held you up so high on this pedestal that it made it so much easier for the divines to protect you and push you into your destiny, your birthright, into your success. But they're recognizing you now. They're seeing, they're seeing that you are the fucking one. Look at that. She has that crown on her head, some Jesus shit. Like, oh, she the one. He the one. Mm, he is the supreme being. He wasn't lying when he said it was a fucking blue rhino or whatever the hell you were saying and it was plain like you was a fool. Yeah, and they were guarded and shit. Trying to not see things for what they was. Or they couldn't see. Because I'm actually seeing that the divines actually blindfolded them because they weren't meant to see what the fuck you were seeing. Because they weren't meant to go with you on this journey. Is anybody with her on that journey? No, she's going alone guided by the divines they weren't meant to see you so stop trying to fucking force that shit look at that 
They weren't meant to see you. Backs turned. They turned their backs on you. They weren't meant to fucking see you. They surrendered their swords to you. Mm -hmm. And that continued to do you a favor. It pushed you. It moved you away from fucking difficult situations. Away from rough waters. And you're healing. It's like on both ends. I always see this on both ends is the three of swords. A lot of sadness. A lot of heartbreak. Separations. But you have to move away from that because it was difficult. It was too much. It was <clears throat> hindering you. And now the divines blindfolded you. Because I see that it was hard for you to move away from these people. But they had to blindfold you because the divines say that they are only creating chaos within your life. They are only creating more and more challenges and obstacles. Look at that. And now it's time for you to heal and nurture yourself. And walk away. So somebody may have took someone back or went back or allowed somebody to come back in. It's time to walk away. And make sure you're giving your time and energy to the right people this time. Maybe you have children. God of Wands. Beautiful, beautiful. That was a deep reading. That was a deep reading. risk <laughs> we've been getting this card a lot be aware or you will have to be aware do not deny the risk and hazards that you see listen to your motherfucking intuition if your body feels like if your intuition is telling you not to go don't fucking go if it's telling you go then go listen listen even if it's something so random, you know, like just like the other day when I went to the beach, we were planning on going to a certain spot and we ended up on the fucking other side of the damn island. But I listened and it was taking me to a space that I was afraid of. And then the other road we went to was going to the bottom of that road. So I got to the bottom of my fucking fears and it was incredible. Like... I couldn't fucking believe. Like, even when I pieced it together, like, how in the fuck, in the what? I'm getting to the bottom of my fears, literally. And I'll explain it again because it was fucking incredible. You know I'd be fucking with the horseshoe lately. The protection, the luck coming through. And also... Fucking divinity of the horses, the divine powers. So there's this road that's shaped like a horseshoe, and the fucking drop is like 500 feet plus. Definitely plus. And I was always so afraid because it's so windy, it just goes all the way around, and we're also overlooking mountains and shit. So, oh, it was so scary for me. And the road that I took took us down that fucking valley, into the valley. And it was just incredible. So listen to the cause, get to the bottom, get to the root of your fears, of your de desires to find a different root. What the fuck is the song Route 66 about? I have no idea, but fuck. I don't know. Look up the lyrics. 
So seed, oh my gosh, did I not say seed? Yes, the seed, the roots from the seed. Uh, having that intention, I don't know if I said it, but now I'm saying it. <laughs> having that intention to grow like a seed and bloom is at the heart of creativity. Bloom. Yeah, if that's your intentions, is just to grow, then bloom. Don't let anything stand in your way. Right? Now I'm getting fucking Nina Simone. I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Someone worries to make you feel so have the courage i'm seeing courage somebody could be misunderstanding you yep just have the courage partnership once you have decided to walk your path in partnership you must put the relationship first so we have that two of cups energy coming right i mean it, it fucking showed up already but some bullshit came and piled upon all that so maybe you're already in a relationship and there was a lot of fucking chaos going on around you. And it was heavy burden upon heavy fucking burden. Overshadowing, overpowering the sacredness that you guys had or still have. And it's like now you're removing it. Now you're removing everything and you can see clearly like, oh my God, what the fuck? What the fuck is all of this? And that's why the tower moments are good too, because it knocks shit down. And then you can like sift through things and be like, what the fuck is all of this? <gasps> the fucking two of cups. It was there. I couldn't even fucking see it. I couldn't even feel it. What the fuck was I feeling? Was I feeling someone else's emotions? What the fuck happened? It's there though. It's there within you as well that two of cups could just be that partnership between you and motherfucking you because we come in we leave alone no? but of course build and strengthen connections while here but make sure you're thrown ready okay don't be so fixated and focused on building a home here that you forget that this is a temporary home. But take care. Take care. Let's get some angels and ancestors. That went here and there and everywhere. And that's okay. That's okay. It's like cruise. <laughs> I, was, I, get, I hear it. You ain't have shit to do anyways. Just cruise Dreaming of the island way Cruise on down to Kyoka Ooh, my song Mm-mm-mm Cruise When the love and that's a cruise Can get to do What is that? Hmm. I'm gonna check it out. If you if you fucks with that, I know I wasn't even singing good at all. You're like fucks with what, bitch? You're like la la la. But shit, I don't know if you fucks with a comment. Oh my shit. Transform and unveil your gifts. So unveil your gifts as well. I feel like somebody can sing. Somebody watching me can sing, and they try and play it off like they can't. Bitch, sang. You better sing. You better do some breath work and tap into that motherfucking diaphragm, and use that voice. What the head do? <laughs> Whew. Embrace the energy of peace. Use this time to rest because it's about to get lit lit. Use this time to rest up. You want to have some late ass nights? Early mornings? It's gonna get fun though. It's gonna get fun. You're gonna be so fucking stoked off life. Oh, I just got the motherfucking chills. I feel you are stoked. I f and I feel that's why it's gonna just keep getting better and better because you're already fucking just stoked off life. 
You're like so high off life right now. That DMT be dripping though, huh? That DNA upgrades be letting that DNT, DMT drip drip. That Kundalini rising. Mm. <laughs> Bro, I swear. I feel the shit sometimes. I feel so amped up. I'm like, oh my god. Mm. It's so yummy. It's so yummy to live. It's so yummy to fucking embrace how the fuck you feel. I say how the fuck I feel. And sometimes I may not say it to the person's face, but I, I let my ancestors know. And we, we fucking, we deal with this shit. So follow the voice of your soul. Boom, bye, bye. Star ancestors, they hear you. They hear that shit. So speak that shit. Let it be your guide. <laughs> A lot of you have been connecting with the stars. Maybe getting deeper into astrology. It's going to allow you to... Un or maybe you're being called to do so. It's going to allow you to unlock, unlock something within you. Bask in the joy and light. <laughs> I was like, huh? Don't show them. Bask in the joy and light. Why can't you show? Oh, oh. They won't even see. <laughs> mm, summer. Winter's about to be. Winter's about to be my hot girl summer. It's hot girl winter. It's hot boy winter. Tap into that breath of fire. Look it up on YouTube. I will I, I will do it with you guys as well if you want me to. I was speaking about that in one of my videos. Oh, motherfucker. I was speaking about that in one of my videos because our water heater is still down and I'm just embracing it right now. We keep the water hot for my babies, but it's like something I had to do. Necessary. Necessary. Mm. <laughs> There's a big shift coming, that's why. There's a big shift. It's like already welcoming. Mm -mm -mm. Take note of intuitive message. This came out, I forget which other one came out in reverse, but this came out in reverse. So, write down, write it down, or just listen to your intuition. Somebody may not be listening to your intu intuitive messages, okay? Listen, remember I said listen, or the fucking divines are going to come by you and pull your damn ear. We told you, no fucking go. Or we told you, go. We told you. Whatever I told you. I love you all. I know this was beautiful. I ain't saying shit. I felt that it was beautiful. I know this was ba 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 ba. I ain't watering shit down. Because I am love. And I am pure. And my intentions are pure regardless of what the fuck comes out of my mouth sometimes, yeah? Because it's all energy and the divines feel that shit. Because I know a lot of people that be doing and be talking. But they don't even want to be doing it. You know? So it's all energy. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. You know it's all energy. Even if you feel you being a little bit rough and rugged. Or shy and timid. It's all energy. The divines feel. They hear. They acknowledge you. The birds be lit. They be lit all day. I love you all. So much. And don't mind my boobs. Don't mind these breasts. I know it's fucking just... Um, physical things, but I know some people are like, sis, I'm a breastfeeding mother of three babies, breastfed all of them till two years old, uh-huh, I feel like I'm literally talking to people and I'm not even on live, I'm loving this, and I actually do this with myself anyway, so it's nothing new.
Mm, long for me. 40 minutes. God damn. 